it's officially Black History Month. And of course, the month of February marks the month where we highlight the, the prominence, the significance, and everything that is beautifully Black and bring it to the forefront. And one of the things that in this day and age we live in now, it has become even, I don't wanna say easier, there's still struggles that exist, but it's never been a greater time if you are a person of color to go out there and realize your potential, go out there and accomplish something. Keep in mind, when the whole pandemic got kicked off, you had all the protests and you had a lot of big banks that came out there and pledged a lot of money to help young entrepreneurs of color, young investors of color, to really come out there and, and, and push not just push the narrative because it, it looks and sounds good for their stock, but actually put some money to work for people to go out there and make something better of themselves. So now it's just a matter of everybody going there, out there and grabbing the opportunity that's been put forth. And it's ne there's never been, I, I maintain that, I've said that, there's never been a better time to be a minority entrepreneur simply because we live in a time where, for instance, Gen Z, which is all colors, 90% pro Black Lives Matter, which means that there are more people, more now more than ever, who understand, who empathize with the struggle that's going on for years and years, centuries and centuries, to now want to help propel people to get to get ahead, to move forward. It's what we do at Nice Company, my company, where our mission is, is very loud and clear. We want to create 100,000 million years of color by 2030, create an additional $100 billion of wealth for communities that have never had it. Again, a lot of that going on. So now more than ever, I want to continue to stress and highlight that now more than ever, just make sure that all the information that's out there, all the resources that are out there, make something of it. Because those that really have the resources they really want to help, they may not necessarily know how to get to you or how to do it, but if they see that you want it, trust me, I've experienced that, I've seen it. People will come out there and support you and come to help you. So this is the time, really, in addition to being, you know, Black History Month, this should also highlight the time when we really think, okay, how can we, again, in North America, the lower rung of the socioeconomic hierarchy is inhabited by people of color, and more significantly, black people. It's time to go out there. Nobody's coming to save us. So we gotta find a way to start saving ourselves and then put the things in place for the next generation and the generation beyond us so we can extend the middle class just a little bit and help people. Get up just a few rungs in that social economic hierarchy. So there's a little more prosperity, a little less of the, you know, the things that come with poverty and a better world for everybody. So to me, that's what Black History Month represents. The time where we kick off the whole mission, if you will, to say, nobody come here to do anything for me. I gotta do it for myself. Go out there and take it, create it. Take a few bumps, it doesn't matter. Trip a few times, so what? Get back up, do it, go get it never been a greater time now than ever in history for anybody, no matter how they look, to make something significant of themselves, and I'm living proof of it. So, that's it. Happy Black History Month.